hi travelers and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do something very very fun and exciting and something that I've been looking forward to for a while so let me give you guys the backstory so about a month maybe two months ago a local news station here in Louisville Kentucky ran an article on a Scottish Highlander farm so the Scottish Highland cows, if you don't know what they are, here's what they look like. They're super fluffy and cute, but typically you find them in like Scotland, you know, the UK area, and they aren't really native here. We have dairy cows and steak cows here, but we don't have Scottish Highland cows. So this article was talking about a farm that does only Scottish Highland cows. This farm is called TC Highlands Farm and it's out in Pleasureville, Kentucky. Pleasureville is like super close to me and so obviously as soon as I saw cute little fluffy cows, I Google searched and I was like, I've got to visit this place because they were doing visits. So however, they were really, really, really booked out because everyone saw this article everybody wanted to come see these cows rightfully so because they're super cute when I messaged her asked the, her by saying like the farm owner I messaged her reaching out asking hey I really want to come see your farm do you guys have any appointments blah 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 she unfortunately told me the next appointment was gonna be in September but I went ahead and booked it because I thought you know what even if you know we're somewhere weird or somewhere different or whatever we can make it back to see these cutie little cows. Not a big deal, right? Well, she ended up saying that she had some openings come up this week and I texted her and I was like, hey, can I maybe switch my appointment? And she said yes. So we're going tonight. Tonight at 6.30 after we both get off work. And I am so excited we get to meet all these cute little cows. So the session is about 30 minutes long and the money that you purchase for the session um, does go towards the care of the cows, you know, food and cleaning supplies and you know, a better clean area, etc. So um, I was more than willing to pay the price. It was $50 for 30 minutes, but they do have a few babies now because it is that season. Um, so I'm really, really excited to meet the babies. So I cannot wait to show you guys um, our journey and adventure here. I thought it would be super fun to bring you all along and see, um, you know, show this side of Kentucky. And who would have thunk that we had this farm like super close to us. So I am so, so excited and I can't wait to bring you guys along for the ride. Um, for now, I'm going to work. <laughs> And then after work, we're going to TC Highlands Farm. So I will update you guys then. Hello friends, it is after work and we are in the car and on our way to TC Highlands Farm. We're so excited, mostly me. Jamie's excited, like he loves animals, like, but turn left onto Road. I've been really excited for this for like what, like weeks. weeks. <laughs> I'm just so excited, we love animals. so. I will update you guys when we get there. All right guys, we made it. Hi. Hi, Harmony. Two? two? You're still just a little babe. There. <laughs> there. Hi. You are so cute. Her hair is like ombre. Yeah, what do we all feel about I know, right? You have like the hair that everybody wants. Watch its horn. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. That was a good one. See, now I like you. You have treats. <laughs> <laughs> Slobbery.
Oh. Oh, we dropped one. There you go. It's okay, I like you guys now. This is Ferdinand. Hey, Ferdinand. He's so little. We do all the rural area. Uh huh. I, I, that's what I do for occupation. Gotcha. I pretty much know all the roads throughout the surrounding county. And find one. <laughs> and how old did you say Ferdinand was? Two and a half months. Two and a half months. Okay. <laughs> that was so cute. Is that your mom over there? Look at this goat. Just like, why are you all feeding? Hey, Ferdinand. Which kind of makes them, they're really hardy, you know, like really self. Like. Yeah. Okay, so this is Mama to Ferdinand. So how old is this one? She's three. Hi. I can't anymore, I'm sorry. That was your dinner. She's so mad. She's so offended right now. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. One calf, and then it doesn't take the first time. Is your money screwed? Yeah. Get, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, we, we vet checked one today. We've uh, wasted two. There's the dry barn that they keep the cows in for, like, if it's raining or anything like that, they'll let you go in there and visit them and they let you brush them and feed them and it was super, super cool. All right, guys, we are back at home now and that was such a cool experience. I know it may seem like kind of silly for some people, but it was just like totally up our alley. We love animals so much. And um, it was really cool to see somewhere local also and to support like a local place. Um, and it was really, really interesting. Like we got to comb them. We got to feed them treats. They also fed them while we were there. So we got to watch them eat. And they are little, like they are legit cows. Like they like their food. We'll just say that. But we got to pet them and take pictures with them. And... I don't know it was just really cool but also the owners were there the farmers so we got to ask them questions you know regarding their age and just all sorts of things like birth and like I don't know it was just really cool a lot of good informational things that I had no idea about before we went so that was a really cool experience and if you're ever in Kentucky I highly suggest checking out this cute little farm um, they're super, super nice and great people, and I'll definitely put the link down below. So if you guys want to go check them out and maybe book a session with them, um, they also do photo shoots out there too. So that might be something that you'd be interested in because I know I for sure am. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and definitely go support your local farms and local businesses if you can. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, and happy travels!